Hello everyone and welcome to my let's play of Total War Rome 2 the Emperor Edition. This uh, edition was released for free for everybody who already uh, owned the game and it basically includes a uh, new campaign and a whole bunch of updates which uh, basically made me decide uh, to abandon my three other Rome 2 uh, playthroughs. I, I, I simply didn't really have the time to, you know, maintain all of them and because of that progress slowed and made me lose interest. So initially I was planning on doing another grand campaign and an Imperator Augustus campaign. But it turns out that um, this campaign actually works on the full campaign map uh, and has some, uh, some, some regions changed. So uh, I'm just going to do an Imperator Augustus campaign. Uh, it has the Marco Mani and Iceni and uh, Dacia playable as the Barbarian factions, but uh, we're not going to fight as those, of course. Uh, it also has Egypt, which makes sense because um, Egypt would play an important role in this uh, this conflict, the rise of. Um, Octavian as the Emperor Augustus and we have Armenia and Parthia uh, in the east which could be interesting to play but I'm not going to do that. I um, originally wanted to play as uh, well Octavian to you know continue the uh, trend I started with uh, playing as Carthage in Hannibal at the gate and as Rome in Caesar in Gaul but uh, then looking at the factions because we have, uh, of course, the factions of the Second Triumvirate. So we have uh, Mark Antony's Rome, Octavian's Rome, and Lepidus' Rome. But uh, then I found out that we actually can play as uh, Pompey's Rome. Sextus Pompey is the um, son of the Pompey Caesar was fighting. And basically, during these conflicts between these uh, three other guys, and you know, most mostly between uh, Octavian and Antony, uh, he took control over Sardinia, Sicily, and Corsica. So we are going to play as as him. We need to capture Sicily, Corsica, and Sardinia, Latium, Italia, Africa, and Macedonia. So basically, we need to go after the most important provinces of the other guys. And we need to control 90 settlements. So uh, we have a lot of conquering to do because we start out with five settlements. Oh yeah, and also they, uh, they have pretty cool uh, blue color. And I, I like blue. So uh, these armies also look good. Which is always uh, a plus. I don't know how I feel about the, this white background. I I really like it, but it seems so out of place with these uh, with this artwork. I wonder if they changed the uh, the provinces for the. Uh, for the grand campaign. But I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like there might be more um, uh, settlements. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that. You are my son. But I've done all I can to protect you. The gods smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you so? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, 
order to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master. Is something happening? Ah, uh, yes. From your central Mediterranean seat of power, nothing is beyond your reach. Tread carefully, however, for the closest shores are controlled by the second triumvirate, who hate and fear you. Attack now, and you may face retribution from them all. So bide your time. Such a tenuous alliance will surely collapse, and you can then pick off your adversaries one by one. Your useful strategic location could even be used to broker a deal with Mark Antony, as the enmity between you is surpassed only by mutual hatred of Octavian, heir to your oldest foe. Rise, son of Neptune. There will be a Pompeius Magnus once more. Yes, yeah, so we've had a little bit of an introduction, uh, you know, of our own situation and about Octavian, uh, who was probably one of the greatest men in men in history but uh, we are going to stop his rise or at least that's the, the plan so um, here we are uh, this is our little empire we start uh, in an interesting position uh, you know just as Sextus Pompey historically had we have a, a pretty good navy at the start which we will really need because we don't have a lot of money and also um, we don't have any military facilities so this army is actually really bad <laughs> so let's uh, let's do something about that let's build a uh, field of Mars so we can get some uh, some legionnaires and let's also build it over here and well why not let's also build some food here and upgrade this grain settlement i guess and um, let's see. Yeah, I could probably make like a some sort of military base of this province. So if I build this port, I can basically build every ship in this area in the uh, Tyrrhenian Sea or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, let's research some, uh, some some civil stuff. As why not park this fleet over here? I have no idea if this actually blocks movement from armies, but uh, I really hope it does, because this army over here, because I've been playing a little bit as uh, Octavian, is well maybe not great, but it actually has legionaries. So he will be able to defeat this army. Because he basically has... Uh, well, he doesn't have these guys. He has Felites, which are better. And I believe he has two of them. And then he has two or three... I think three legionaries and two of these things. So... That would be a problem if they cross. 
But what is our strategy going to be? Diplomatically, we can't do a lot. We only know the location of uh, the other Roman, the Roman factions, and uh, Numidia, the um, client state of Lapidus. So, what is my campaign plan going to be? Well, first, I am going to build up economically. Because, uh, and also militarily, of course. Because right now, my situation is not that great. And uh, both Octavian and Lapidus are uh, more wealthy than I am. More powerful than I am. So we have to be careful. They're also uh, all allied. A defensive alliance, but um, still they're allied. So we have to be careful about that. I'm not going to be worried about Antony right now. He's a little bit too far away. The most imminent threats are obviously Octavian. Because he controls all of Italy and also a large part of Gaul. And also Lepidus, who controls Africa and has uh, Numidia as a client state and also controls a large part of Spain. So, um, I think my first target is actually going to be Lepidus because he is the weakest of the three triumph triumvirates, the least wealthy, but also his lands are split because he has an important province here in Africa. Which is a very wealthy province as well. So that would be nice to take. But his you know, other center of power is here in Spain. Which is uh, far away from um, Africa. And it basically puts him in the same position as Carthage is. In the Grand Campaign. Which uh, the AI doesn't handle that well. So yes, basically I only have money for one big army, so that's the... Uh, oh yeah. Oh crap. Oh uh, well, it doesn't matter. But yes, basically I have money for one big army. So I have to be smart about using that. I should probably reinforce the fleet uh, near Sicily a little bit. So Octavian can just walk into Sicily and take my probably wealthiest province. I don't know. Uh, yeah. By far the wealthiest. Now once I have this thing. Maybe I should. Because they changed this in the uh, this edition. Basically there are two versions of the main building. Uh, more of a military one which has a. Uh, larger garrison and uh, also provides some public order and you have a civilian one which produces more money and you know city growth and stuff like that That's your command. Um, so what are we going to build now Agrigentum isn't that where uh, Octavian defeated Sextus Pompey or at least started his invasion of Sicily I'm not sure well it probably wasn't uh, Octavian anyway it was probably Agrippa um, let's build an M no let's not build an amphitheater um, let's convert this to a uh, garrison it will cost me a bit of money, but right now I probably need the security more. Yes. Can I recruit something interesting over here? No. All right. Let's uh, let's do a bit of scouting. What actually? What are my objectives? I need to maintain 40 units in total, which shouldn't be that hard. Research the following technology, double plan construction. Whilst the second triumvirate dealt with Caesar's murderer, Sextus Pompey was able to consolidate his power in Sicily. When their attention returned to the Mediterranean and to him, Pompey had built a, f a formidable navy manned by skilled Sicilian marines. So we're going to do that too. 
And ever the opportunist, Pompey attempted to enlarge his base of power whenever he was not in a position to attack enemies directly. Siga was distant, but would have provided a valuable foothold in Africa. So Siga is all the way over here. I, I don't know if I, I if I will do that. What, what does it get me? 1500 gold. I doubt it's worth it. I, I personally like to take out like a, a main center of power immediately, so going after uh, Africa would probably be the best. Maybe maybe declare war in Numidia because that would probably only get Lepidus in the war. Oh, I saw a... this thing. Let's make an amphitheater out of it. Never really use slavery in this game. Uh, let's get the tax harvesting. How, how's my influence actually? Let's secure the promotion. I should probably make uh, Sextus uh, an admiral, but no, who cares? <laughs> I'll keep him as a general. So we can kick the crap out of Octavian. Yeah, in my Octavian campaign, uh, Sextus decided to abandon Sicily, basically. So he only controls... Uh... Birds and will go oh. Pack on your carcasses. Well, actually, th 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 this is a, a really good development. Because client states, although he, he might drag Lapidus into the war, <laughs> you know, that's possible, but client states uh, basically are in a defensive alliance with their masters. So, Lapidus isn't dragged into this war. Can I... Well, I shouldn't trade with him, actually. Greetings in the name of the state. Welcome, but expect scant pleasantries. Okay, so, um, yeah, I guess we can take out Numidia. Once I have a proper army, at least. But now I have the building to actually... Uh, Built them. Oop. Let's get some uh, defensive military technologies, and after that, I'll probably do some economic stuff. Maybe disc at level three auxiliary barracks, which might come in really handy soon. Um, okay, let's get rid of all of these guys. Which will give me a little bit more money. And let's... Okay, yeah, the, the upkeep on these legionaries is all, uh, actually a lot higher. Oh well. Soldiering. It's a good life. Actually, now I think about it, I, I think it would actually be better to just spend a bit of money upgrading this place. Um, let's get some commerce out of this. I'm going to wait with recruiting an army. Hopefully by the, you know, if I see the enemy approach. Oh. Is my spy doing that? Okay, well, fine. I forgot that if you send a spy to Africa I over the sea, they will always take a land route. A oh, and now they want peace? No, you're, you're not getting peace. Uh, not yet, at least. Uh, alliance broken between... 
Antony's Rome and Octavian's Rome and also Lepidus' Rome and Octavian's Rome. What happens? Lepidus and Octavian are at war with each other. So that um, that's good. Uh, how's the relation between Antony and... Okay, so Antony and Octavian and Antony and Lepidus are still <clears throat> at peace. Makes sense, Antony has to fight uh, Parthia and it's satrapy, so uh, he's probably busy for a little while. Um... harbor in there, build a farm. I feel like the thing we definitely shouldn't do is rush this thing. We all look forward to seeing your leaders strangled very, very slowly oh. during the triumphal celebrations. Okay. Apparently, Antony's Rome is a threat. <laughs> well, I, I, I actually doubt he's going to be a threat. But my I Lord do need to boost my... Um... Okay, so... For now, my plan is going to be... Somehow try to stay at peace with Octavian. Uh, take out Lepidus in Africa and after that go after Antony here in uh, Greece because I, I I need Macedonia which is uh, which province is that this province I need that so I'll uh, take that from him including uh, also uh, Greece Or maybe I'll take Italy first, I, I don't really know. But for now I have to be careful. Cause Rome is basically undefended. Let's get some boiling oil. Which is uh, since the patch 14 I believe less useful. Because the enemy actually knows how to use siege equipment now, more or less. It's, it's still not perfect, but, um, you know. So the gate isn't as important as it was. Uh, research and technology in the following category. Philosophy. Uh, no thanks. Not for now. Um, let's get the garrison in here. I I don't know if I'll change that eventually. I I might. I probably can't get any real good auxiliaries anyway from Sicily and uh, Corsica and stuff like that. So I think I'll just stick with the manipular barracks. In, at least in these two provinces, you know, once I capture Africa, I think I will build uh, some auxiliaries some, somewhere over here so I can get access to elephants eventually and potentially other units. Not exactly sure what they have in, um, in Africa. Some Numidian units, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what I should do with th this fleet. I kind of want to merge them with this one, but I, I don't know. So basically right now I am going to uh, upgrade my cities to second level. And after that, I'll just recruit some uh, some dudes. Uh, 
Okay, so Carthage is actually undefended right now. I can just declare war on Lepidus, I guess. Because I'm already at war with Antony. I'm already at war with Numidia. Ready for battle. Are you? Okay, uh, let's not recruit anything right now. Um, let's get an amphitheater in here. Maybe I should actually get a Shrine of Mars in there. I'm not that exactly sure. I think I'll save the the money. alliance between Antony and Lapidus is also broken because Antony and Lapidus are now at war. So basically everyone is fighting everyone except maybe Antony and uh, Octavian. <laughs> Which is weird because they were fighting each other all the time historically. Um, let's get some uh, some growth in. Is this a civil settlement and why don't I see what it's doing? Uh, which will just give me a bunch of stuff. So let's do that. Build manipular barracks over here. Sold by Reem. I want these these quad reams. They're almost twice as expensive. Well, they actually have twice the men, and they have probably a more powerful ship, which is better at ramming and is just more sturdy. So I I think it's worth it, but not for now. I should see if I can make allies with the, uh, the Spanish tribes, or Iberian tribes, I guess. Okay, you go there to find those those tribes. Okay, so this place is basically upgraded uh, this place isn't this will give me access to missile trireme and scorpion trireme and it will increase the wealth from industry huh. doesn't cost me any food Well, let's let's get a shrine of Jupiter in here. Get some some happiness and some some culture. Question is, is this a navy or a fleet? Or uh, I mean a navy or an army. Uh subject gains notoriety. Sporius Caelius Metellus. So it is a fleet, okay. 
What did the, this guy do? A filthy spectacle. The general seeking permission to sail down the Cloaca Maxima. It feels the spectacle will provide distraction for the people in this place and perhaps a piece of Roman architecture. Sure. Let's do it. Huh. Haven't really seen this yet. Okay. Good to know. Um, get some more growth in there. Ready for orders. Upgrade this dock. Oh my god, I only have four gold left. That's, uh, that's not going to do much. I'm kind of hoping that they all will be is willing to lay down the sword. It is not often that he is hmm. moved to mercy. Huh, should I do this? Cuz it is a lot of money. But if I make peace and declare war on Lepidus soon, they will probably join me and I will get a reliability hit. So I shouldn't do this. Oh. As the general sealed down the Cloaca Maxima, people packed the banks cheering and waving. The spectacle may have been costly, but you cannot put a price on the benefits of a happy Roman mob. But I did lose 100 senators. Wait. Oh, the other house lost 100 senators. That is... Uh, that might be a little bit problematic. Okay. Okay, let's do this. We have spent all our money on, well, a lot of things. Ready for battle. So, I think we can get some... Uh, some actual military in here. Rome needs good fighters. Yes, Rome needs good fighters indeed. Four of those guys. For now. I don't know. Invading Africa with <laughs> with one army. It's, uh, it's I, I don't I don't know. It might actually be a big problem. Maybe I can actually declare war on Lepidus and keep uh, and make peace with Numidia after that, but uh, I doubt that's going to work. Who are the Numidians fighting? That's the question. Pompey and Antony. Okay, so it looks like Lepidus is beating the Iberians. We will gladly listen to your offers. Okay, fine then. Okay, a bunch of stuff has finished building. Man, this, this army is going to be expensive. And 
I would also need some ranged units. Most important thing is the infantry. If I, you know, if I can get that, um, if I can get a bunch of legionaries, I should be able to deal with a lot of stuff. But it's still going to be a problem. Yeah, I should probably go after the Numidians. They do have annoying ranged units, but uh, their infantry is weak, so my legions should be able to cut through them really quickly. Population surplus in Italy, but I or um, Sicily, but I want to wait until I have uh, five population surplus because that would allow me to expand Syracuse. Which is definitely the better option. Let's uh, let's get this fleet over here, so I can escort the army. Ready for battle. Should I build this? Probably not for now. Uh, what does this do? These are some, some decent upgrades. I should actually get some of this philosophy stuff because they will get you uh, extra money. Are there some really critical, very critical research? Uh, extra missile damage for land units might come in handy. Let's let's go for the training reforms, which will get me minus two percent army upkeep. It's not a lot, but um, it will work. It's a good life. Uh, is it? I, I wouldn't know. I think I'll just get uh, three Valetes units after this and that will have to do. That way I will have some money to spend and still have an effective fighting force. Again, they offer peace. But no, I have uh, made up my mind. I'm going to invade Numidia. So, uh, oh, Ludi Romani, blah, blah, blah. People are happy. Okay. That's good. Um, let's get uh, Velites. Are you ready to serve no, they aren't that expensive and kind of effective. I should also wait over here. It's only two more turns. Well, actually this... Um, yeah, I'll move the um, the temple to Carolus and change this into a farm, I guess. So I have a lighter, I have a ballista ship, an onager ship. Let's get another ballista ship. Uh, let's also get an assault quadrim. Why not? Yeah, I'll build up that navy a little bit. So navies, they, you know, they aren't that important, but they can actually be really useful. And I actually feel like they, they are really important, uh, at least initially for the for Sextus Rome. Mission failed. I don't care. Um, okay, let's check out the situation in Africa. 
I do believe there's a different tribe over here, though. The Cantabri. But I can't trade with those. Alright, um, but the army is done, I guess. Well, maybe. Actually. It's a good life. If I get two more legionaries and more valetes. I actually can maintain a full stack. So that's pretty nice. I should probably uh, move this army to uh, another town that's closer to Africa. Population surplus in Sicily and Corsica, but I can only afford one upgrade, I guess. So, oh, I can actually, well, no, I, I want a Valetes unit here. But I, uh, I actually think uh, I'll have to stop for now. So it was a little bit of a slow start. But, um, you know, we, we are now almost ready to de start declaring war on... Um, well, actually, we, we don't need to declare war. <laughs> war has been declared on us, but we are ready to actually fight those wars. So... Um, We'll do that next time, but for now, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll speak to you guys later.